Okay, going to start by looking at how to visualize numerical data. And we can visualize numerical data by looking at how, uh, the ordered array, which is ordering the data from lowest to highest. And when we have the ordered array, we can display it by using the stem and leaf plot. In the next session, we will look at the frequency distribution and histogram and polygon. Okay, let's start with the ordered array. Like an ordered array, it's how you arrange your data from the lowest value to your highest value. It's by ranking the data. And using the ordered array, we are able to show the range of your data by using the, minim the minimum value and your maximum value. And also, it helps with identifying the unusual data, which are data that are outside of the norm. Data that is way outside, far away from the rest of the other data. Okay, so let's look at an example. And this week example is the FMCG. So we're going to look at the age of the shelf packers. So we know how many shelf packers we hire at this grocery store. So if we want to analyze and see the type of or whether we hiring older people to to pack the shelves or we are hiring uh, we hiring younger people to sh to pack the shelf uh, with an ordered array we will be able to see that because then the data will be sorted from lowest to highest so our day our day packers they start with the age of 16 if these are our ages of our day sh pack, shelf packers they start 16 years of age 17 18 up to 42 and we are able to see what is our minimum age which is 16 and our maximum age which is 42 there are no unusual values because all the values are almost close to one another. There is no value that is out of the norm. Okay. If we look at the night shelf packers, we can also see that with the night shelf packers, the minimum age is 18 and the maximum age is 45. If we compare the two, we are able to see that during the day shelf, uh, the day shift. <clears throat> we hire a younger shelf packers and at night we use the older shelf packers and you can make decisions based on this because of the safety of the people who work at the shop and so forth. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at an another example. Let's say we have a number of pies sold per day. If we want to know what was the, the, the minimum number of pies sold and what was the maximum number of pies sold, we need to order this data uh, from lowest to highest. And to order this data, we're going to start with 15 as our lowest value. 15. And our lowest value is 15, followed by 25, followed by 27, followed by 31, followed by 35, followed by 41, Forty-eight, fifty-one, and fifty-one. If the number appears twice, you have to write them the way they appear. Fifty-one appears more than once. We also need to repeat it more than once. The next number that is following is. 57, 
And the last number is 62. As you can see, the minimum value or the lowest value is 15 and the highest value is 57. And by looking at this, we also don't have a, a number outside of the norm. Let's say, for example, we had two. So if two was part of this, then two will become our outlier because it's far away from the rest of these values. Or let's say we had 120. One day they sold 120 pies because they had special. 120 will be our outlier. So because 120, it is outside or it is an unusual number as compared to the rest of the other numbers. And the same with the two. It's an unusual number why they would have sold only two pies. There is your exercise. You can do the exercise to create an ordered array. Thank you for listening. The next video, you're going to learn about uh, stem and lift block.